Hey guys, so today we're gonna just, I'm just gonna, didn't really have a video to make, like, planned. So I'm just gonna show you inside my tackle box and what all I got. So we got just worms, little baits here and there, you know, of course. Got like, I like this guy, he's, he's funny. <laughs> this, I'm not even gonna name him or anything, I'm just kinda gonna show y'all. I got a bunch of these for Christmas, so you'll see a lot of these throughout this video. We got hooks, just little beetle spins, and we got this crankbait and this crankbait, which that one's super cool. <clears throat> then on the next stuff, we just, you know, got a little stringer, and then little grubs, these big, like, shads. We got a frog. We got a spinner bait. We got hooks down there. We got this. And then we got, like I said, I got a bunch of these. So we got that one. That one. And then we got hooks here. Another one of these. We got just two little grips there. Another one of those little chatter bait, you know. We got another little like, crank bait. And then we got our jig heads. Another one of these. <laughs> these are just homemade. They kind of suck, but I've actually caught stuff on them. So that's cool. Just like a jerk bait. Sinkers, sinkers. Another one of those. I have a bunch, by the way. And we got a little like spinner things. And then we get on to the good stuff. We got our line. It's going to take forever to put back, by the way. Little like frog thing. It's squishy. And we got a Guggen Bates frog. This is with the flat nose. This is kind of a, you know, the popper one. And then Fisherman's Essentials. We have the, if I can get it open here real quick. It's just a little multi tool. Multi tool. We got the pliers, and it has like the knives on it, cutting your line, and pliers for getting hooks out of the fish's mouth if they get stuck. So, then we got another filthy frog, Guggen Baits. I like how it says, eat me on the back. It does on both of those there. And then we got just some regular little red worms. Then we have sparkly ones, just because, you know. And then I really like these. We're going to use these down at a spillway. We have kind of close to our house. They're crawdads, so... I think these are pretty cool. They look kind of real. So that may work out for us. And then we have, and they put that up there, worms, more red worms. We have, you know, these that I showed right here, which they probably just fell. We have some crappie baits, just little baby shads. Now this is where it gets the good stuff. Look at that. Look at that thing. It's a little spinner bait. Now this right here. This thing, a little swim jig, it's going to be good for, we're going to put something on this, I'm about to show y'all what we're going to put on it. So we got the little like Senkos, and uh, then we got crawl dead kind of things, and uh, here's, what we're going to not put this, these on that one, but we're probably, we may, but we're going to put these white ones on this. So, yeah, that's about all I got in my tech box for now, anyhow. So, hopefully, we'll have videos soon of us using some of this stuff and uh, see if we can't, you know, catch big bass down at lakes and farm ponds we're going to be fishing at. We're going to have some videos. Pretty soon when it warms up, we're going to have some videos of fishing on the farm, and uh, we're going to have videos probably kayaking, if I can figure out a way to use my phone, because that's what I video with, is my phone, so we'll try to figure out a way to use my phone to set it up, video, all sorts of stuff, so... 
come back for that. That I don't know what our next video will be. Probably fishing at the farm if I had to bet. And uh, like I said, come back for that. We will have videos pretty soon next week, hopefully. So, yeah, that's about all for today. We're going to see if we can't put some of this stuff back in here neatly without making it look all messy. And, yeah, we'll see y'all next time.